Hi, in this tutorial um, I will give a basic introduction uh, of Active Directory on Microsoft Windows Server and then I will try to demonstrate the steps needed to uh, add the ADDS uh, rule uh, and features on uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019. So what's Active Directory? Uh, Active Directory is a directory service uh, that houses information about all network resources uh, such as serv servers, uh, printers, user accounts, then a group of user accounts, security policies and other informations. Active Directory also refers to uh, the service in particular is uh, referred uh, refer to as um, Active Directory Domain Services or for a short term ADDS is responsible for providing a central management of resources and a ways to quickly find and access specific resources uh, and for providing a way to manage network resources. That's the basic um, idea of or the philosophy behind Active Directory uh, we have uh, objects basically all user accounts shared folder printers application computer that we manage uh, through Active Directory we just name them as an objects so here in this figure uh, you see the Active Directory domain objects include servers, workstations, printers, users, uh, user groups, and other resources. So here is all managed by central management that we are going to use Active Directory for this. You see printers, you see user, you see workstation, and you see share folders and other devices like servers. So here, once uh, you are in your server manager on your Windows Server 2019, so we are going to click on Manage, then click on Add Rules and Features. Um, here we are going to click on Next. Uh, it's a rule pay based. So click on next, next, uh, this is my server name, uh, click on next. Here we are going to use or select ADDS or Active Directory Domain Services. Click on add features, click on next, next, and click on next, and install. So once it's done, you will see that it says configuration required so here i will basically uh means that we are going to promote uh, this server um, that we are using to be the domain controller so you can basically click on this uh here or just close and you will see on the top right uh, the notification click on this and you will see the same notification promote this server so click on this and here we see the post deployment configuration uh, basically um, you have select the deployment uh, operation here on your door as a domain controller so you need we are going to add a new forest and you have to be an administrator to do this a local administrator and here there is options such as add a new uh, domain such as child domain uh, you see under the options here and also add a domain controller to an existing domain and so in my case we are going to add a new forest so we have to give our if we are adding a new forest we have to give uh, a new name for our root domain so basically i will type tech no config.com uh, and then I click on next um, 
so here uh, we leave uh, this uh, part uh, so basically it's uh, backward compatibility with Windows Server 2016 and here we are having the global catalog and uh, basically the domain controller need a DNS server uh, so basically um, what's a global catalog so it's a distribution it's like a data storage for the domain controller to use it to provide a better um, catalog and better search ability for our active directory domain services so here um, we are going to type our pa and confirm the password uh, this is the uh, D SRM password so basically uh, the D uh, the DSRM password is used when booting the domain controller into recovery mode uh, so here we are just going to type the password and then you click on next here DNS option I click on next so here we have the uh, the net bios domain name so basically uh, it's uh, the subdomain of the DNS domain name so for example if the DNS domain name that I just wrote is technoconfig.com uh, the NetBIOS domain name is technoconfigwithout.com it's the subdomain click on next uh, the, in the paths click on next click next so pre prerequisites is check so give it a time to check everything as you see here it says all prerequisite checks passed successfully I click uninstall to begin installation so we just click on uninstall here it says the server automatically reboots after the installation is completed So now after the server reboots, uh, if you notice the login page, uh, you see here our uh, domain uh, name and then forward slash administrator. So now this, is, this account is basically uh, the administrator group accounts within our domain. So, so let's check uh, uh, the tools for our Active Directory domain services uh, from your server manager from the top click on tools and as you see here uh, we have Active Directory users as, as computers, sites, services, uh, domain, domains and trusts and administrative center So as we see here, um, so this is users, our computers, this is our domain, and you see users, these are the built-in ones, and computers. Yes, and that should be it for this tutorial. So as you know, uh, by now we gave a brief introduction for Active Directory and then we added the rule and features for Active Directory domain services and finally we promoted this server to be used as a domain controller. Uh, thank you and talk to you there. Bye.